that. Yeah. He has access, full access to, to the Wayne the fortune. bad credit card. Yeah. Like, that expires forever. So, he's rich beyond belief. And all he's got to do is fucking pick up fucking Bruce, like, cook for Bruce and pick up his shit. I mean, yeah, okay, there's some superheroing involved, which he actually enjoys doing. Yes. So, I gotta tell you... That's ya, one of the scenes that I enjoyed when, yeah. uh, near the end of the film there, mm-hmm. we'll get to it when him and Bruce are talking. Yeah, like, there's, there's some good moments in it, but, like... Babs, like, chill the fuck out, lady. Like, learn well, your she's shit. she's a petulant child, right? Yeah. Like, she's just, like, in her mind, she's just, I want to get my uncle out here because he's, like, the best thing ever and fuck this place and fuck Bruce Wayne. He's an yeah. asshole. I'm like, like, you are living that, in his house. At what point where he literally <laughs> says, by the way, when he first meets you, ah, she's family, you can yeah. stay here. Yeah. At what point do you think he's an asshole? I don't know. I mean, it's the same thing as fucking Robin constantly going... Oh, Bruce, it's your way. You're an asshole and you're this shit. Why doesn't Bruce just go, all right, give me the fucking Robin costume and get the fuck out of my house? Remember, not only am I Batman, I'm the guy who's paying for your life, dickhead. So Bruce rocks out of the shadows going, yeah, I was dying. Yeah. How can you tell? I can tell. I can tell. I'm world's greatest detective standing right here. I can figure it out. Yeah. Oh, we'll get into one of the stupidest fucking lines in the history, but we'll get to there. So Ivy and Bane, spring freeze. Yeah. Is this where this is where Freeze is somehow able to get access to a clock, a um a, a sharp tool to carve something into ice and creates a little statue of his wife well, that can spin around. He can stab around. anybody with it. He can stab himself. No. He, he can stab a guard. Well, no, he can't. Sure he by can. the time he gets out of the cold zone, you saw as soon as like, they the have minute... to if he if they're taking him out of there someday, which they have to. I mean the man, I mean the man's got to shit sometime. Because he clearly has nowhere to shit there. Put the bucket into the cold zone. Okay, fine. They have to. He has to legally be allowed to fucking leave the cell once or twice. They would train guns on him. I would. Assume. I'm not getting into this. But we're, you can, we don't, we're not you making do this. not give a fucking criminally insane person something sharp. I don't care who you are. Or a clock that has sharp things in it. You just don't. Well, I don't know. Here's the thing. I don't know if he's criminally insane all the way because, again, by the end... No, he is. They, well, that's why he's in Arkham. Yeah. You don't go to Arkham if you're not insane. It's just not how that works. So, Ivy kills the guards by kissing them. Mm-hmm. Bane fucking breaks into the Batman Forever's room. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's like, huh? Huh? Yeah. Two-Face. Which is another question. Riddler. I, my whole thing is, uh, why is Two-Face's suit there? Two-Face is dead. Did you get it off his corpse? Yeah, they mm. stripped it off his corpse and put it in the armory. Ew. Okay, sure. And then they kind of have a little bit of a trouble, like, oh, reinforced steel, not good, as Bane's trying to knock down the wall. I will say this, I love her voice in that, where she's just like, she basically, like, her voice actually becomes clear, it's not like the whisper, where she's just like, reinforced steel, not good. I actually like her voice in it. And then he went, and then he fucking freezed the pipes, and then he went to ride your pipes. Which is funny, because he also said he was running on empty, and he was about to fucking collapse, but he has the pillar to, oh, fuck this movie. Ugh. And then they jump from what can only be described as a thousand feet. Yeah. And... They dead. And it's funny because he And they he land in goes, the water, no problem. I do enjoy that he calls... Uh, Mr. That, Bane. He calls him Mr. Bane, which I I'm do like, hope Mr. Bane can swim. I like that. Because <laughs> um, he doesn't just do it once. Every time he refers to him as like, Mr. Bane. Um, yeah. They jump all of the feet. To the de- to their death, but somehow they survive. To what can only be described as rocks and rocks and a uh, thimble full of water, un- un- yeah. troubled water. Mm-hmm. Um, and they're fine, no problem. Yeah, we're Mr. Good. Bane can in fact swim. Mm-hmm. And I do like Batman. Literally does. Literally goes. They sprang him. And I'm like, I wrote that in my notes. They did sprang him because that's what you write in a '60s thing. Yep. You got sprung, you got sprung from the joint. See. Yeah. Uh, Bruce and Al. This is where Bruce mm-hmm. and Al have, like, a nice little heartfelt conversation. Yes. And it's just like, I think Alfred's just like, I wish I was out there with you. And he's just like, hey, Not don't... all heroes wear yeah. masks. You know, you're, this is, you're a hero, Al. This Trust is me. by far the best scene in the yeah, movie. Yeah, and he's just like, well, thank you, sir. And mm-hmm. they have a nice moment. Like, George Clooney and Michael yeah. Ball have a very nice like, moment. It's this. moments like this to me that are why I love the relationship between Bruce and Alfred so much, but in the comics and <laughs> it's everywhere. It's funny just because amazing. this is literally the only movie out of all of them yeah. where you actually have a really good relationship with Bruce and Al. <sighs> kind of in the first one. Kind, kind of. of. Kind of. Um, but this but yeah, is the best Bruce this is and the Alfred. Best one. Absolutely. Like, hands down. And it's the best scene in the movie because yeah. it's the only one that you're not like, oh, come on. So Batman and Robin are at Freeze's HQ. Mm-hmm. Uh, because they they because he got sprung, so you know he's gonna go back to his HQ. Yeah, and I think this is where 
it's the stupidest shit happens, but we'll get there. Well, I want to know mm. why is there a heat setting in Mister Freeze's HQ? Why is that an option? Because we all knew that at some point in time, Poison Ivy was going to be created, and she needs a place to chill or heat. No, because they, they don't take that. Right. Freeze takes yeah, over right. a, a wing of her right. HQ. Yeah, I don't know. I got nothing. Because why would you build in built in your own HQ? Something that could hurt you. I I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe if he maybe it's maybe he never actually kills the peop his his henchmen that he freezes. He just freezes them for that moment and then throws them in the heat room to be like, all right, you can thaw out, but don't piss me off again. Maybe by asking me simple questions. So they he turns the freeze back on, almost mm. kills Commissioner uh, Sergeant Gordon and his and his men, <laughs> Lieutenant Gordon, and then he gets to his he actually get, he saves the day by hitting the heat thing mm -hmm. after Freeze takes off. Mm -hmm. uh, Batman and Robin fight Bane. Freeze fights the cops. Yeah, uh, every, all the bad guys get away. Gordon's pissed with Batman. He's like, you let them get away! And he's like, well, what do you want me to fucking do? My partner's, like, Dude, a, my partner's a fucking clown. He's like, fucking hopped up on pheromones. He yeah. wants to fuck Ivy. She was just here a second ago. She almost killed us. And this is Bane the one, almost killed us. And this is where shit gets really dumb, because, like, why did They're you They're fighting again. But that, he throws him in ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> he's just like, fuck you. Because he does take a swing at him, to yeah. be fair. And I'm like... This is like when you try to fight him in judo throws him into ice cream, melted yeah. ice cream. Well, this is because it was the same kind of fighting as he does in Batman Forever, where he sort of like bitch slaps him, and then he fucking throws him in there, and then he just goes, "Fuck this, I quit. I'm going solo. Ah, I'm flying solo." But here's where it gets stupid. But we'll get there in a second, because they talk about is this where they talk about McGregor syndrome or something? Not really. Well, no, yeah, because they see uh, they, they keep run, going, they, keep they, going, and I'll reference why I'm so fucking mad. They they, they come across yeah. uh, Moira. Uh, freeze right his his wife yeah entombed in her nora Mo nora it should sorry. be nora i don't know if it's moira but it should it be could, nora. no no you're right it's it nora. should be nora it's nora nora freeze yeah. and sh they see that uh you, on, on the screen i think mm -hmm. it says level one completed so you yeah, see he's got, that he's got he's the got cure original, yeah for stage one mcgregor syndrome exactly um ironically in comics now they're making nora not his wife oh yeah just a woman he's stalking which act, which makes him crazy. Yeah, it makes it you know? more because he was never crazy. The idea was he oh he never hated. Like he's Batman. a man about it. Yeah, he never hated Batman. He was just like Batman keeps getting in the way of me trying to cure my wife. But now if he's just stalking a woman and he's trying to cure her because he thinks they'll be together, he's nuts. Okay. A lot of people didn't like that. I thought. Is it was there great. something that you're going to talk about or? Yeah, yeah. So no, no, no. It has to do with them realizing that you know, like McGregor syndrome. So they're like, all right, let's go get Freeze. Fucking Robin, who just said I quit. It's just like, all right, let's go. Oh, yeah. Like, but wait, didn't you just quit, dickhead? So when he's just like, no, I'm gonna go to this. I'm gonna go to this party first because you know I'm Bruce Wayne. I'm gonna go to this party, then I'm going after Freeze alone because you're an asshole. And Robin, who says I'm going solo, just goes, no, I'm coming with you. Fuck you. And I'm like, so if you went solo, why don't you just go? Why yeah, don't you just go after. He leaves going solo. Yeah, Ivy. What appears to look like mm -hmm. kills yeah. Nora Freeze because mm -hmm. he, he like well, she unplugs does, her because she she kicks it out and she's you know, like oh there's only room for one in this cave because I, he she basically just she mm -hmm. wants Freeze for herself. Mm -hmm. This is where Bruce and Dick fight as yeah. as Bruce and Dick. yeah. So yeah, he just he just fucking like I'm going solo, but I'm not really. Yeah. So that whole scene of them fighting over this was pointless. And Alfred gives Barbara the disc he's going to give to his brother because right. there's a whole subplot in this movie where he knows he's dying, so he needs to find his brother. Because I guess it, give what it they to don't my, what they don't explain. Give it to my brother. What I Alfred. what I had to piece together myself. Well, yeah. I'm sure you piece together. Mm -hmm. What other people who piece together watching yeah. this. He's finding his brother because he wants a replacement for him yes. at Wayne Manor. They exactly. Don't, they don't say that no, in the they movie. Don't, they don't say it. They explain everything else at nauseum, which makes no sense. I mean, they Christ. They explain where his brother is, yeah. who his brother is, like, what his brother's name is. Fucking Poison Ivy is Captain Exposition constantly monologuing to herself the plot of the movie. But we can't take two seconds to explain what's going on with this. But then, like, I love the fact that his name is Wilfred. Like, oh. His brother is named Wilfred. Boy, your parents fucking hated you. Yeah. Alfred and Wilfred. What's your fucking sister's name? Jofred? I don't know. No, well, like, it's uh, Meg. Um, Magfred? Mar Margaret. Yeah. Peg. Peg, which... How yes, do you get that from is, Margaret? It actually is. It's Ma Margaret has... Oh, it's like Rich and Dick? Margaret, like. <laughs> no, Margaret has several. It's well, Margaret, Marg, Maggie, Marge. 
Peggy and Peg. Yeah, I was that one. And Marge as well. Yeah. yeah. yeah so there's so many there's so many fucking things for it. It's nuts. And that's why it took fucking Barbara forever to hack into the no, file. Because she didn't think about her at, immediately. She was just like, I'm gonna try every fucking name I can think of except for the one that we just except talked about. Except for my mother. Yeah. Who Alfred has gone on ad nauseum about yeah. how much he loved his sister. Mm-hmm. A little too much. So, yeah. well, not that, come on. I don't Jesus. know. I mean, in a world where Batman and Robin are clearly looking at each other to fuck, like, why not? So, t- there's the tell going tell everywhere. ceremony, mm-hmm. unveiling, hey, look at this, ain't that something, mm-hmm. I'm rich, I got money to do a telescope. Yeah. Uh, fucking Ivy horns up Gordon to give her keys to the, to the roof. Because, you know. And then she, like, goes, on second thought, you're too old for me, and then pushed him away. Yeah. And then he literally goes, no, I'm not. It is funny because she asks, like, where is the bat signal? Dumbass. Everyone knew where the bat signal was. Next time he shines it in the sky, look. I don't know. She's new in town. No, she's not. So Ivy and Bane go up to the roof, and she gets Bane to, like, <sighs> basically rip it out of the thing. and Because that, was, that was one of their arguments whilst Poison Ivy was, like, thing is, like, why is it not Robin and Batman? Why isn't there a Robin signal, signal in the sky? Well, because you're an idiot. <laughs> but yeah, that's part of the thing, and that's what she's using to use. Because she drops so many sexual innuendos when she's trying to play them off each other, which I actually forgot about. She says some shit that's almost as bad as uh, the penguin, except it, it, you wouldn't kids wouldn't understand what the hell she's saying. She's saying like literally at one point in time she says something about like oh I'm giving you a sign slippery when wet yeah that screams pussy to me. Well, that's later on when he when he shows up. Oh, is that later? Too. I thought it was earlier. Um, so Babs is hacking. Mm-hmm. And I think this is where Bruce and Al have their nice little moment. Yeah. And then she's in because yeah. she figures Peg. Yeah. Hacking. And then That's and then cute. we realize, oh, the file for Wilford was yeah. It's like everything, here's everything bat related, which you he need would to have know. been confused by. He would have been like, "What is any of this?" Yeah, you would think considering because he way... doesn't know what a Batman is. You described this man as as literally mm-hmm. traveling with a Maharaja across India. Yeah. It's not even a it's not even a kingdom. It's a floating kingdom, meaning it's never in one place. He's always traveling. Yeah. So it's my... a traveling kingdom. He's serving. So you would think, considering what he does with the Bat Cave. And what ends up happening? You'd think that on this CD-ROM, that he would have his Max Headroom style of himself explaining, like, "Hey, my charge is Batman. He is a superhero. He does this, and here's Robin. He does this, and you're in charge of taking care of them now. Yes, it's your job. You have to do this because the world needs it. But no, we don't get any of that. We do get a Robin signal, though. We do. A Robin signal shows up in the sky, and and sure. it's Ivy calling me. I gotta go. He's like, just for. For fuck's sakes, dumbass. He, he calls him Dick yeah. as not he only his name, but he's like, listen, <laughs> Dick. No, he actually says she's trying to kill you, Dick. Yeah. Which I'm like, ha, huh, I get it, double entendre. So she's just like, just kid, come here, come here, stop yeah. thinking with your dick. Trust yeah, me, I'm just, the clue just, dog. I know, yeah. I know thing one about thinking with my exactly. dick. Exactly. Come here. So he just, he just goes. Figure it out. He just goes like, trust me, brother, partner. I'm like, wait, brother? Really? Yeah. Oh, I mean, technically, now, again, now bros. Okay. you should be 16, so he should be father. But that's cool. Um, but again, he's... Friend, partner, 85, brother. so, you know, he's like friend, partner, brother. <laughs> Robin. Yeah. Booby. <Bobby. laughs> you know, listen. come on, listen to me here. I got this. Hey, yo, let's go. And then fucking, so Robin shows up at well, Ivy's. Freeze, Freeze and Bane show right, up to attack right. the tele- telescope. He takes it come over. Come with me, Mr. Bane. And then one of the scientists, who's this wacko? <laughs> Frozen, both of them. Hey, fuck with. Get your head out of the clouds. Also, Look at would, a paper. Yeah, you would know who Mr. You Freeze would know is by right now. now. Um, either way, Babs gets into the Batcave, oh, fucking Alfred Max Hedrum style, like, yeah. did, 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 did. hello, 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 hello. it's you, yeah. <laughs> I knew you'd find, 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 find your way in here. <laughs> I do find it funny that we, I, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention the, the funny thing when she finally hacks the thing, it's just like, access denied, access denied, and then when she finally gets it, access yeah, it's, granted, it's, like, it's just like, all sexy, it's I'm like, like oh, open Jesus, all right. me, like, Jesus, all right, all right hold chill on. out. But then it's like, when did he have time to change from the bat signal thing, from the bat cave thing? Which, first of all, the security in the bat oh, cave the is still alert, shit because, because now, it's him? now it's him. But I mean, they still haven't learned that. Like, maybe when it's an intruder, don't turn everything on. Yeah. Don't have the Batman, the Batmobile show up and the Lazy Susan on. Identify yourself. It's me, Uncle it's Alfred. Alfred. Oh, okay. And then she's I, talking. I, I knew it was. It was. It, it was, was you. you. <laughs> and she's talking to it, and he says, "Well, I knew you would do this, so I took the liberty." Of fine, 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 building something for you. Suit me up, Uncle Alfred. And oh god damn it. Um 
So she suits hey, up. Hey, equal billing. Yeah. <laughs> if we get to see... No, it's not equal and... at all. You can clearly tell his heart.